Okay, we gotta work on that shit. What's up, YouTube? Danielle here. Today, we're gonna talk about how to glow up. So, the first thing you gotta remember is that glowing up is on you. So, you have to make that choice. You have to get yourself on board or there's no glow up. And the 10th tip is change your look. So, update your wardrobe, try the classics like classic white t-shirt or classic white button-up blouse. Bold, rich colors, major upgrade. Bold, rich colors are going to look like they're brand new, like they have quality, because washed out colors will look like didn't buy them from an expensive brand so therefore when you wash them the first time this really bright red becomes a oh, pastel orange a girl changes her hair she's about to change her life so live by that principle if you want to change your life change your hair number nine learn skills that will benefit you for a lifetime you need to learn angles for photos if you want to look good on instagram you gotta do like instagram you gotta pose and sometimes the weirdest poses can literally make the best photos. Have you seen the photos of models? Like, you have to create space between your body and your arms, your legs and the other leg. You change the lighting just a little bit, it changes the whole quality of the picture. Number eight, pick up a new hobby. So, gym. 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 Gym has changed my life. It has made me committed to something. It has made me look forward to something every day after my schoolwork. It has made me stronger. It has made me a lot more confident in my legs, my arms, my back, everywhere. It and gym is just a place to let go. Journaling can really help you boost your creativity, especially if you do it in the morning. It can boost your creativity throughout the day. It can help you organize your thoughts throughout the day. It can really help increase productivity because you're like, I have these goals for today and because I wrote it down, I'm going to complete them. So the next thing is dance. Anything that expresses yourself, like it could be anything, like it could be walking. It could be, I don't know how walking expresses yourself unless you just like morning walks, but anyway. Number seven, makeup. Learn how to do makeup better. It's gonna change your life, I promise. It's gonna change your face. Start off with foundation, eyebrows, and lips. Take care of your lips, y'all. Take care of your lips because they serve you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds weird, but like, take care of your lips because when you look at someone's lips, you can tell their health. Number six, get a style icon. And when I say style icon, I mean someone who motivates you, not someone who makes you feel disgusted with yourself. Um, so you're going to want someone who fits your goals, fits what you want to be, fits what you kind of want to look like, but not to the extent that you would get plastic surgery, because we're trying to do this without plastic surgery. Someone who you look up to. We need to look up to people who are healthy and who take care of themselves. Like, go to the gym, eat right, treat people nice, treat people with respect, treat themselves with respect. We need to look for those people. Number five. Number five. Give your space, your house, give it a makeover. Because there's nothing that increases productivity more than a clean space. Healthy skin is truly the best skin. And you have to look at ingredients. Avoid, like, these ingredients for sleep schedule eight hours of sleep people not six not five not four eight I like getting nine but that's probably not very good I just like sleeping and number three get healthy nutrition is your number one goal nutrition you need to research nutrition getting like um full Complete meal like shakes, good good thing because it has all the stuff you need. No problem. Drink water. I know you've heard this a million times. It's time to do it. Drink water. It's gonna flush toxins from your body. It's gonna help you with acne. It's gonna help your organs work better. It's gonna help you feel better. And if you have a lot of headaches, water might be your problem. Drink water. And exercise. Actually, it's crazy how much energy you get when you start exercising because you feel like if you don't exercise, I can't sleep good. I need to get out some of this extra energy I have. 
because your body gets used to it, you know? And your body is able to do a lot more things when you have exercised. It's just healthy. It gets your blood flowing. It puts blood in your brain. You know, you need that for college and high school, middle school, wherever you at. You need your brain. And you need it to work properly. So it needs water. Your brain learned this from boxing from my boyfriend, but anyway. Your brain is the last organ to get water. You need water, and you need a lot of it so your brain can get some. Two, get confident. You may ask, some people are just born with it. Some people are just confident. They're just narcissists, or they're confident no matter what they do. You're not born with confidence. Confidence is learned. Confidence is learned through things that you get comfortable with. If you're comfortable with doing things, you have confidence in that thing. It's when you start to think inconfident, say no. No, 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 no. No, no. You don't get to control me because if you start acting confident and you walk into a room confident, people see that confidence on your face. And they will look at you and be like, damn. That girl got her life together. She knows what she's doing. She's she's a boss. She knows she knows what she's talking about. When you say it with confidence, boom, 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 bada bing bang. You know. So number one, get the right mentality, which kind of goes with number two. But mm, you need to find your problems in order to know how to fix them. If you don't know what they are, you can't fix it. Simple as that. You gotta know what it is. You need to challenge yourself to improve all the time. You will never be perfect at something. You can always improve at something. You need to know that and you need to find out how to do that and you need to start doing it. Mm -hmm. It's going to really improve your life. Um, Be gentle to yourself. Don't like say be hard on yourself for every little thing because you just need to love yourself and that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you let yourself get away with something it's like a good parent they're not gonna let their child get away with something that hurts them you know like eating too much cookies you're gonna get fat you're gonna get diabetes you're gonna you're gonna get hurt and all that kind of stuff like you are having too much sugar, you know? It's just simply caring for yourself. Be being gentle with yourself is not letting yourself get away with things. It's letting yourself admit that you're wrong and saying, that's okay. I can fix it. I'm going to fix it and it's gonna be fine. And that problem will no longer exist after I am done. Thank you lovelies for watching and like, subscribe, and leave a comment.